Hi and welcome to Kismet Rising. Um, so I'm coming back to you today with another energy forecast. It's the middle of December 2018 and I hadn't expected that I would talk to you today um, about the energy. I thought that most of what I'd covered in the December energy forecast uh, would be cover would be covering what I have to say today as well as well as uh, there's another energy forecast the very first I did which was from September 2018 to December 2018 which also covers a bit of this energy and um, and then I did another one um, uh, just for the solstice uh, and Christmas energy so this basically leads us to having a pretty good understanding of what these energies are. But if you go back and you listen to the energy forecast from September to December 2018, uh, you're going to find that a lot of what I said there has quite a lot of relevance uh, to what is going on right now. And why is that? That is because for most of us who've, who are on this spiritual um, wavelength that I'm talking about, uh, would have been experiencing a particular energy from about March to November, okay? And we've been doing quite a lot of work. We've been working very hard. Some of us have been resisting this and some of us have been working with it and being true to it and looking at it, at it and actually taking it on and literally um, evolving through it, okay? So those of us that have been doing that, uh, well, basically what you find is that you're getting like a kind of reminder of what you've been through, uh, you're going to be finding that you, you're going to be working a lot more with what it is that you thought was behind you. At some points you may be, begin to think, oh, am I regressing? Am I, what is going on here? I thought I'd work with this. I thought I'd left it behind. Why is this revisiting me? Well, it's just one last hurdle. It's just one last test. For those of you who are in the thick of it, for those of you who are feeling like it's just not letting you go, uh, you just don't know how you are going to get through this. And those are, that really applies to those of you who started working on something by the end of September, probably uh, from about the end of September, October till about now, you're working on something new. You've turned a corner then and then you're about to, you know, you're in the midst of something huge that you're working on. Just stay with it, okay? Don't go back now. Don't don't look back. Don't doubt yourself. Just stay with it because if you stay with it, when you come out of this year, when you are in um, the middle of January next year, you're going to find that the progress you've made has been huge, all right? So I'm basically talking about two strains of information here. There's some of you who are probably not feeling any of this and probably going along with life and just feeling a sort of a, a boredom, things not moving, a stagnation. Well, that is the other strand. So it's, there's those who are just feeling stagnation and don't worry, your time's about to come. You'll probably get a kickstart sometime in the middle of January and things will start changing for you. And for those of you who started uh, working, uh, started working on yourselves with a new cycle sometime around March this year, uh, it probably you start, probably start feeling it around the end of November last year already, but it really went into overdrive by March. And you thought that you'd come out of it by about September, October, and November you would have had the last, what you thought was the last um, hardship from this. But guess what? You in December, you've been promised that this energy is behind you and you're still working with it. And the reason I'm making this video is to tell you, you're not alone in this, okay? Just go with it. Um, face what you need to face. A lot of it has to do with self-love. Uh, it has to do with doubting yourself. It has to do with separating what you, how you view yourself from how others view you. It also has a lot to do with what we're hearing. Okay, you've got to ask yourself, is, is what I'm hearing the truth or is that just my perception of it? Because actually what might be happening is that somebody says something to you it triggers something in you but actually what they are saying and what you're feeling are two completely different things they're talking about something completely different but you're being triggered in a particular way and you're lashing out perhaps or you are getting defensive and you need to to speak about it you need to correct things you need to straighten um, things out actually in these situations if you're in this situation i'd say take a moment to think about it Take a moment to think about it. The energy is going to pass. Give it a few days. Let them say what they want to say. Think what you want to think. And then you're going to give yourself some time because what's going to happen is that you're going to find that they actually went 
saying something that was truly offensive and that the fact that you were triggered by it actually says a lot more about what you need to work on okay so this is the reason i'm talking about this the reason i'm making this energy forecast is like that literally um like everyone i've spoken to in the last week has been undergoing this and i can see that this week has started off and there's a lot more of that uh you're gonna find that some of you are going to go deeper and working more with these kind of things working more with self-love working more with healing as the time uh, as christmas arrives and there are others of you who are going to let it go for a while and say okay i'm just going to deal with this later and for those of you who say i'm just going to deal with it later while well, your time's coming because around january and february brings through a whole new vibe and a whole new energy and what's going to happen at that point is that you are just uh you know taken like a, in a tidal wave and thrown in a different direction and you're working with all of that but then come march you're still dealing with these issues and those of you who are working on this right now and you're working with whatever is coming your way as i said it has a lot to do with self-love it has a lot to do with how you view yourself it has a lot to do with letting go of how others see you it has a lot to do with how you perceive what others are saying to you whether you're perceiving it in the truth that it is being spoken or you're perceiving it simply as a um as a as a defense mechanism as a uh you're perceiving it simply through a lens which is in fact there to protect you and uh, serves as a defense mechanism so i'm saying to you that for those of you who are still in a funk um you still have this grimy energy uh so to say well stay with it uh, work with it it's really good it's bringing great blessings it's bringing a lot of great energy and evolution and healing within yourself and uh just it'll it'll calm down just before the new year okay uh it'll calm down before the new year take a lot of deep breaths calm yourself down do whatever you can to ground yourself okay and if you can't ground yourself then if you can't find if you, it's too cold to go outside and put your feet in the earth um do other things um you know for you could you could for instance infuse your bath with a particular kind of love energy you can do this just with your intention you don't need to use any essential oils or anything else um you could um infuse your your water that you're drinking with good energy as well and how do you do this you simply just speak into your water before you drink it um i feel that for many of you it's something to do with coping you know it's it's got to do with coping can i cope with this or am i being dragged along am i the master of my destiny or if, am i being dragged along in this so ask yourself are these my feelings is this where i want to go or am I right now the product of something else? Am I right now the result of something else? Am I the product of my fears? Am I the product of my anxieties? Am I the product of something of somebody else's fears or anxieties? Or am I standing in my own truth at this moment? So it's all about bringing yourself back to that. And I spoke about this in a few weeks a few weeks ago, where I said, well, grounding. It's all about grounding oneself. And I feel that many of you may feel ungrounded, but actually you're much more grounded than you were a few weeks ago. And um, you just don't recognize that. Or perhaps you're just feeling not as grounded because you have come through a process where you've been grounding yourself and you've been grounding yourself very deeply in order to be able to access this healing that we need from this earth. The other thing I want to speak about is that when you are healing yourself, when you are working with these things, you are not just doing it for yourself. You're not just doing it so that you can have a better experience or for your soul to evolve or, or whatever. You are part of a whole. And when you heal this within yourself, you are healing all of us. Okay. Be particularly aware of karma at this moment. I'm talking about Newton's third law. You know, I'm talking about basically be very aware of the fact that what you're giving out right now, you're going to receive it right back it's a boomerang it's coming right back at you be aware of that and um just take a moment you know if you're upset about something if you want to complain about something just take a moment and uh ask yourself is this rather is this me 
is this me that's not accepting this because it's upsetting me? Is this triggering something in me? Or is this something that I really need to be complaining about? Or is this something that I really need to be speaking about right now? And do it in a kind way, okay? If you need to complain, go ahead and complain. There's a lot that's not okay, all right? And by all means, complain if that's how you, it's gonna get better. This is something where there's a lot of intolerance in the energy right now. And there's a lot of, um, it's, you know, it's it's a lot of, um, I don't want to say it's aggression because it's not really aggression. It's more like a balancing. It's a balancing. It's like a few weeks ago, you could have gone out and said something harsh to a person or been harsh to in a particular circumstances. And, you know, it was accepted. It was received. And, but right now that's going to stop. And you're going to find in the next few weeks that, um, I think in the next two to three weeks, you're going to find that you're going to, you're going to receive that right back at you. So just be more cautious about that. Okay. And, uh, I'm sure that none of you, well, I'm sure that most of you, I wouldn't say none of you, I'm sure that most of you don't actually, um, go out there to be harsh or to be unkind to people, but perhaps we are without recognizing it at times. And so, uh, just be more cognizant of that as you go along in the next weeks, um, you know, it's uh, the sense I'm getting is is uh, get off your high horse and try to understand where the other person's coming from. You know, don't think that you're necessarily necessarily right in this context, because actually, you what you, you may be perceiving may not be the truth. Okay, and that's really a theme for what's going on now. On the same hand, there may be people who are trying to reach out to you and trying to give you love and trying to be there for you, uh, but you may be perceiving them as taking something away from you and that's largely to do with the process of healing or the self-discovery that you're undergoing at this moment so be cognizant of that as well you know recognize that there are some people who are reaching out to you who want to include you and who are giving love to you and um you don't need to push them away but just because you're healing and working with yourself. Yes, maybe you may need to maintain a distance, but you don't need to push them right away from you at this moment. For others of you, I'm gonna, I feel that 2018 has been such an amazing year of growth and transformation for you, and you are in it. And for others of you, you are just beginning this process. And you might be saying to yourself, well, I've been working on myself for the last few years now but you're not working with yourself the way you are going to be working with yourself now. And this is ultimately um, an uncovering of yourself. It's that peeling away of the onion. It is washing away any grime that is on your soul. You know, it's, it's like cleaning your suit, your soul's suit, so to say. It's refreshing yourself. It's cleansing yourself. It's rejuvenating yourself. It's time for you to basically take control of your lives in a way that you haven't been able to before. And yes, you might think, oh, I'm a successful businesswoman. I'm a successful professional. I am in control of my life. And of course you're in control of your material life, but where, but are you in control of your, of your emotional life? Are you in control of your soul? Are you in control of your life in that you are, that all your experiences bring you healing and well-being? Or are you still going through a process where you are hurting through your experiences? You know, uh, I think what we are called to, and uh, sorry, this message is becoming very long-winded here, but I, what I wanted to say is that um, what we're working with right now is extraordinarily important because we are coming to a point where we cannot, we can no longer accept that which is not us. So we may have been content since we were born to fill in a picture for somebody else, to be something that we are not, to be able to convene in this particular world platform, to be lesser than we are. But you're not going to be able to do that any longer because you're going to be forced to look at yourself as you really are, to acknowledge that part of you which is divine, to be able to actually continue further, to be able to grow further, you're going to be able to, do, you're going to need to do that. And if you're watching this message, if you come to my channel and you're watching this message, it's because you require healing on some level, because I'm a healer, I'm an energy healer, okay? And so the the reason that you come here is because you are in transformation, you are in a sense of evolution, you are in, in a, in a, 
role where you are working with yourself to make to be the highest that you can be and or the best that you can be in this lifetime and so yes you are working um and you have been working and, and so what you but where you're headed to right now is a whole new level it's like you're shifting gears uh, you're going on an overdrive so basically that is what i have to say to you for the moment and um yes at the same time we are in great energy please don't think that we're not we are right now in a wonderful energy and i i didn't say that a few months a month ago well a few months ago this this channel didn't exist but um a month ago we went in the best energy okay and we were waiting to come out of that and now we are in a great energy we are really needing to acknowledge that we are in in good energy we what i mean by that is the substrate is good the substrate is healthy the substrate is there to provide us all that we need in order to be able to continue and do the work that we need to do for ourselves okay yes this does not mean that you're not going to be faced with challenges that you're not going to have a lot of niggly things coming your way things that you thought that you've dealt with things where you may feel that you doubt yourself where you may feel rejected or excluded by others or you where you may feel that others simply don't see you or acknowledge you in the way that you need to be acknowledged um it may also be that you have these realizations suddenly that i need to do this i need to do this for myself otherwise i cannot move ahead and this is something where you may have thought well i've done a lot of work already and i'm in a good space and then boom you realize the work is just about to begin and so um i think i'm going to come back and do another uh energy forecast just before the uh the the new year but i just want to leave you with with that that we are in great energy make use of it recognize that you are evolving that you're healing at this moment and this is the reason that you're faced with all these challenges it's just to be able to show you where your triggers are so that you work on it don't take out your frustration on other people if you feel that you need to complain take a moment before you actually complain you are more grounded than you think you are so if you feel that you need to ground yourself of course do so um you may use very simple measures to be able to uh come into harmony with yourself such as infusing your water that you bath with or that you drink uh with with good energy go ahead and do that you don't need to be too elaborate with that okay simply do do simple things for yourself if anything just take a moment and recognize who you are in this moment and not who your ego is but who you are as a divine being so those are the things that i want to leave you with and uh don't let the niggly itsy bitsy things get to you uh it's going to pass and january february brings a whole new energy to you um and if you haven't worked with everything that you needed to do if you haven't been able to uh to work with the energies that are, are bouncing off and on um all around you right now then come march you'll be you'll have a revisitation of this and uh you will be able to work with it then again so don't worry it's all good it's all well and you're going to be fine and we all are going to be fine and um many uh good wonderful healing energy to all of you and blessings abound from kismet rising